Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to get another video put together for everybody. Um, interesting little fact, it's been three months to the day since we got rid of Project Dirty Willy. And uh, guess what? It's back. Um, actually, uh, when we traded it in, I talked with uh, the dealership and all that stuff, and we left a couple cards for the YouTube channel in there because there was so much stuff on the Jeep that, you know, I didn't know if they would, you know, know how all of it worked and everything that way if they wanted to, you know, get in touch with me to, you know, ask any questions or whatever. Um, so they did. Uh, there actually ended up being a couple issues. Something's going on with some of the lights and uh, he contacted me and wanted to know if I would help him out by going through and trying to fix some of it and or see what's going on with it. Uh, I don't think it's going to be anything too major. Uh, so. Yeah, basically I just wanted to show you guys that three months later and Dirty Willy came back. Uh, so I'm going to get to messing around and uh, see if I can figure out what exactly is going on. Sorry about the wind. Um, I'm outside as you can tell and it's pretty windy and there's a lot of trees around here and cows. Um, got everything taken care of on Dirty Willy for the new owner. It is fixed. Everything is working properly now. Um, I do need to... Uh, change over a radio for the guy. The cows are really agitated today. Um, he went to get a new radio done uh, because the touch screen has stopped on this one. It doesn't work anymore. And uh, he took it to a place and they uh, kind of screwed some stuff up and uh, actually took some parts off and never put them back on and they don't have the parts. So uh, he's looking into getting those parts and a uh, replacement radio and I'm going to put that in for him. The reason why I'm standing here sweating and rambling on and on is I don't know if you can see it on camera or not, but you might be able to see a reflection of another vehicle that's uh, right here in front of me. I figured uh, I'd go ahead and tell you guys what the new vehicle is. So um, let's uh, go around here. And I figured what better way to show you the new vehicle than to have it next to the old vehicle. I'm trying to turn to where there may not be as much wind. Um, so if there is a whole bunch of wind noise, I'm sorry. Uh, there's not a whole lot I can really do about it uh, being outside. But yeah, this is the new vehicle. It is a 2021 Ram Power Wagon, 75th anniversary edition. This one is number 451 out of however they're going to make. It has like a little plaque in there that says, you know, the number. It is uh, Go Mango is the color. I'm going to do uh, some more video that will uh, go a little bit more in depth about the truck. Uh, I'm not going to get into it right now because the wind is probably terrible on this. But uh, I figure I'll just walk around and show you. It is the 6.4 Hemi. Um, I get a lot of people that see it and they're like, oh, why didn't you get a Cummins because it's a 2500. Uh, I'm not going to claim to be an expert, but I'm pretty sure in the power wagons they didn't actually offer it with a Cummins engine. But yeah, that is the old and the new. Uh, of course, if you've watched the channel for any time, Dirty Willie is a 2015 Jeep Wrangler Willie's Wheeler Edition, and the new is a 2021 Ram Power Wagon. He's got uh, Dirty Willie looking really good, uh, really nice and clean. Uh, might be shinier than we've ever had it. Uh, I don't know if uh, he took it somewhere and had it shined up or buffed or what, but I mean, it's really clean. Yeah, there you can see the, the little camera that I'm using. So that's why I don't have a microphone or anything hooked up. Um, I will get into uh, more about the truck, uh, the features and all that stuff. So this isn't really how I wanted to make the video, uh, you know, of unveiling the new vehicle. I wanted to do something fancy and do a whole bunch of editing and all that stuff, but, you know, it, I wanted to do it while it was new, you know, I keep, uh, you know, waiting around and being lazy and the next thing I know, you know, it'll be, uh, you know, 2022 20, and it won't be a new truck anymore. So, yeah, uh, that's the new truck. Like I said, we'll probably see Dirty Willie at least one more time. We might see him, you know, uh, a little more after that. 
Uh, don't know. I'm gonna try to keep, you know, getting videos put together, even if they are, you know, just little vlog kind of things like this until, uh, you know, I can really get into, you know, some heavy editing and stuff. Uh, but I just want to, you know, get back into the routine of, of doing things. Um, I've been going to some local cruise-ins with uh, Project Super 10, so I've met uh, a lot of people with some really cool cars. And uh, I've talked with a few of them that uh, said, hey, I've got this car and this car and all this stuff, uh, you know, at their house that could make some cool project stuff. So uh, sometime we're going to take a trip out to a friend's house that has a very interesting collection of vehicles uh, and uh, I'll show them all to you guys and then maybe we'll let you guys vote on which one you'd like to see as a project vehicle or maybe a couple of them I don't know uh, so I think I'm gonna cut this while uh, I've kind of got the wind blocked a little bit so uh, thanks for watching uh, if you came across this and you're not one of my subscribers make sure to go into my channel check out a couple other videos I've got all kinds of different stuff in there so make sure you uh, check out a couple videos while you're in there if you find a video that you like hit the like button if you have something to say, leave it down in the comments. And if you find a couple videos that you like, don't forget to subscribe to my channel.